Our last story here at the 530 newscast. You know, it's prom season for a lot of high schools across the country, including in this area. And for a lot of parents, it means a very worrisome night counting down the minutes until all the teenagers are back home safe and sound under your roof. NBC Charlotte's Rob Hughes shows us the message Salisbury police are sending to high school students over in Rowan County ahead of that big night. Salisbury police using this mangled SUV as a real life representation of the deadly consequences that can come with teen driving. Jordan Hodgin and Valerie Troll were passengers in the back seat of this SUV in 2005 when the driver skidded off the road, hitting a tree and a brick sign, killing both of them. Neither were wearing their seat belts. All it would have took was one second to put on the seat belt. The car donated by the family of the driver to the VIP for VIP program. It's one of several memorial cars the program uses to embed consequences into the minds of teenage drivers. And it really makes them think, it hits home, and sometimes just the visual will have more effect on someone than you just telling them about it. In 2017, 88 teenagers died in car accidents in North Carolina alone. 43% of those teens weren't wearing their seatbelts. Which is devastating. I can't fathom the loss of a child. A tragic reality for those families, but in most cases, it's an avoidable outcome. Pay more attention to how you're driving. Use your seatbelt, stay off the phone, don't drink and drive. With Salisbury High School's prom this Saturday, school administrators and police hope that this memorial will remind students to think twice about the importance of safe driving. In Salisbury, Rob Hughes, NBC Charlotte.